So we continue the loop-free topology selection in our system here. And we already know that in order to create a root port or designated port, there are some predefined, there is a predefined order of operation. The first thing to select the root port or designated port for that matter, is to select the lowest cost of the path towards the root bridge, which is cum accumulating. So when switch one is sending its own cost to itself is zero, the switch one receives that on ethernet port, it adds the number 100, because that's what the cost of for 100 port is. When it receives here from, from switch three, the same BPDU, so switch one is sending BPDU here down here, it switch one adds 100 local cost towards the sender and sends this traffic up here. So switch two receives that with the cost of 100 to the root bridge path, but it adds its own cost towards switch three, which is also 100. That's 200 already. It ignores that this 100 here is better than 100 plus 100 or better than 100 plus 100 plus 100. So we've done this already. Now the switch three also has a port of 100 here versus 100 plus 100 here or 100, 100 and 100. So 300 or 200 is definitely worse than the cost of 100. So one of those two ports, 42 or 43, is going to be selected the root port. Each port on switch one has its own identifier. We, we saw that. So when we look at the port 4243 now, let's see that. Port 42 and 43. So this is the switch two. It receives the packets. Oh, sorry. This is the wrong switch I'm on. This is switch three. So show spanning tree VLAN one interface if four slash two it receives the and slash three it receives the packets from switch one which has the same for two and four three and switch one is sending bpdu with identifier port four three four two has priority 128 and is also 128 but port two has sig signified with one nine and this one is two zero, so 19 versus 20, this is lower. So the packet received on 4.2 from 4.2, here from switch one, will be obviously preferred, and that becomes the root port, the root port over here. Now, in fact, so this is gonna be the root port. So these are all designated ports, because we mentioned that in the previous video, that all ports on the root bridge are in designated role forwarding traffic. So this is all designated port. Tricky question would be which port is the root port on the root bridge? Well, none because they're all designated. So they're all forwarding traffic. They must be opened for the traffic. So this is all designated ports. Now we already have root port here on switch two and this port is in a blocking state. We know that. So the question is now, since this is the shortest path towards the root on switch three, which of, of those two ports, and this one was elected the root port, because identifier of here port four two is on switch one seventeen, sorry nineteen, and the other one, so it's right here actually, nineteen, and this one is twenty, so nineteen is better, so switch three prefers that path over four slash two because its neighbor 19 is better than 20 here. So the other becomes, obviously because that there's a loop here, becomes immediately blocked. So as soon as the election is selected, and I could, actually I could, I could change it. So for example, if I wanted the port four slash three to be the root port, I could manipulate that on the switch one by changing here the priority to make it, let's say here lower. Well, let's just do it for fun. If I go here, interface E4, let's say that is what, three. If I say spanning tree VLAN one, port priority, I'll decrease this by half, 64. So that 128 here will be 64. Do show spanning tree VLAN one interface 
uh, e4 2 and e4 3 so I made it on switch 1 the center of the BPD or lower my switch 3 is going to actually change its mind so let's go back 2 again it's blocking already and 3 it's now root port and learning so in then goes to listening state in a second so that's 15 seconds in total right and it's 40. so listening learning uh, i didn't uh, catch this in, uh, soon enough to see the listening learning forwarding now the root port is actually the opposite so if i change the back so i'll say no Spanish so that goes back to default 128 priority that situation is going to change on R3 so let's just give it a second so in a second we'll see that it is going to transition into it's actually 15 seconds into uh, uh, listening and then learning and then going to be blocking again like it was from the beginning so meanwhile I'm going to jump there we go it's already blocking meanwhile I'm going to complete the picture on switch 4. So switch 4 has the shortest path here over those two links. It's a cost 100 versus 100 plus 100, 100 plus 100. So that is going to be now my problem, right? Which one is going to be? Again, the port priority is the same on both, 128 by default. So the port that has a lower ID on the on this switch 1 sender is going to win so if let's we look at the 501 and 500 zero, sorry uh, let's just maybe clear the terminal show spanning tree 5 slash 0 versus 5 slash 1 so this one is 21 versus 22 so obviously 21 here is lower so if this is a port zero let's say um let's say this is a port zero so five zero is here they have the same port connection so this is going to be the root port and the other will become blocked because it's a loop so this is going to be alternate port in a blocking state so let's verify that on switch four switch for show spanning tree vlan one interface e50 it is the boot port clearly and 51 it is an alternate port so that is the root port selection and blocking the remaining board but there's still something to be done we have still a loop over here loop over here and loop over here and we're going to do that in a next video